is located in the Northside District of Iowa City. Even though the building was built in 1847, you don't need to worry about any ghosts. The shop was named for the novel by Christopher Morley. With four rooms upstairs and six downstairs, this store is a maze of used, rare, and out-of-print books. The friendly staff take great care in selecting which books to add to their inventory, and they love being able to point out the one that's just right for you. The Haunted Bookshop is open on weekdays and weekends, so stop by, grab a book, pet the cats, or play a song on the piano. Just mind the warning. All right, I'm here at the Haunted Bookshop with Neil, the owner, and we're going to just ask you a few questions. Um, so first thing, what's your favorite thing about working at the Haunted Bookshop? My favorite, favorite, favorite thing, besides my friend Julian helping me out with making the count of the puppets, because we also carry toys, um, which involves piling all the puppets on Julian and then counting them. That's <laughs> um, really close second, but uh, the best part about being here is that so much of book culture these days is I heard about this thing on the radio, I have to read it, I have to go do this thing because it's important, and this is making me a better culturally literate person. Busy, 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 go, 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 go. My favorite thing about being here is that all that doesn't get to come in the building. When you're in here, you're wandering among 50,000 different things. The books that people have written, they're written by, by hundreds of different kinds of people. They're in different subject areas. There are different spots in the store where people seem to congregate. Almost all of them have some fascinating story to relate to me that isn't in a book anywhere. And yeah, okay, fundamentally I like to read a book, but I'm here because I love stories. Watching people develop a library, watching people discover a book, having people tell me their story. I get to read all the things all the time, and, and everybody tells me about the books that I can't read, and it's... I get to do, I get to do all the things that matter to, to being literate. Great answer. Um, so, second question. Uh, do you see... Um, we're obviously in Iowa City, um, big college town, so do you see mostly college students, or do you see a lot of the general public, or is it about even? The group that comes here most devoutly are actually international writers' workshop students. Iowa City is very famous for its um, for its writing program, which has an international component where uh, authors come for about three months in autumn. They come from all over the world. Uh, yesterday, I had a poet who was from the Middle East. Um, I have had in the past um, a woman who was quite a famous novelist in China. Um, who took a shine to one of the cats here in the store, and even when she wasn't looking for a book, she came in to spend time with the cat. Um, so they're, they're the ones who come in and they're here like every couple of days, um, but we get a really broad mix of students and then general public. Sometimes the students are looking for textbooks, sometimes they're looking for free reading. Um, the general public are often looking for gifts for other people as often as things for themselves. This is actually a UNESCO city of literature. Um, right up there with yeah, Reykjavik and Dublin and um, Edinburgh. So it's the only city of literature actually in the United States, which is kind of surprising when you think about it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's, be it's mostly because of the writing program um, and because it is such a literate culture, you know, like to the point where sometimes drunk stop you in the street in Iowa City to tell you how awesome a poet is. <laughs> um, so so I, get, I get a big cross-section of people for a lot of different reasons and that's part of the fun. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you mentioned cats. There are two, correct? There are two. What are their names? Near me is a peach-colored tabby, and Logan, the one with white feet, is the one who usually greets people at the door and often gives tours. Awesome. Love bookshops with pets. <laughs> Best thing. Okay, so last question, and it's an unfair question for anyone who works in a bookshop, but what is your favorite genre of book? I think it was Neil Gaiman or one of his friends who said something to the effect of like, ask me my favorite book is, that's like asking me which limb I can't live without. <laughs> um, but if I can, if I can give you kind of a sideways answer, mm -hmm. um, my favorite genre of book is a book that is a little bit self-consciously aware that 
um, books and readers and writers are actually three parts of a relationship. Um, like, you know, if you have a romantic relationship or a family relationship with another person, there's you and the person and the thing between you. Well, a book is just a thing between two people. It's a thing between the writer and the reader. Um, so books that acknowledge that the reader is also responsible for being creative is something that I really like. So do I like science fiction fantasy? I love science fiction fantasy. You have to imagine the whole world. I mean, the writer tells you some of the stuff that's in it, but it's your picture. And I really like um, Angela Carter's fiction and Italo Calvino's fiction. These are considered literary fiction um, because they make you create the world. And I like philosophy because they make you think, you know, how does this apply to the world that I see? How is this drawn from the world that has been? Um, is that moral? Is that a function of, of my brain? You know, I like anything that makes you dig into who you are, what experiences you're bringing to the book, and then gives you a new place to go. Fabulous. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you and check out the store.